Hi everyone, welcome to this week's Halton Hills housing update. So the market is not getting any better. The numbers are still awful this week, so let's look. Georgetown this week only had five sales, terrible number considering how much stuff we have available to buy. Um, we had 15 new listings, so inventory is going up. We are continuing to see houses, what feels like flooding the market. Um, the one saving grace is we do still have things coming off the market to sort of balance things, but a huge gap between the number of sales we're seeing and the number of new listings. Acton this week only had one sale, which is down. Acton's been staying pretty consistent because of their lower price point properties, but Acton's starting to feel sort of a dive off as well. And seven new listings in Acton. So <sighs> inventory's up there, and this is just like sort of the theme. Glenn Williams and Limehouse had no sales and no new listings. The rural market had no sales and four new listings. So all of Halton Hills last week saw six sales. That is awful, but it's just not a good number. Buyers are really at a standstill right now. And if you are a seller, like it is just really hard to get any activity happening on your, on your property. There was 26 new properties in all of Halton Hills last week. Only eight of them were under a million. So the far majority of properties coming on the market are still in our higher million plus price points. So those are the ones that are not moving as rapidly. And so it just keeps getting saturated there. And when we look at sort of the properties that came on and off the market, we had 21 listings that you know, either expired, terminated, or suspended off the market last week. Of those 21, seven of them did not return. So again, that, that kept our inventory even lower because those come off the market, so they subtract from our overall inventory. 11 properties came off the market and relisted at lower prices. So this is definitely the trend that we are seeing. Majority of them were in the million plus price point but a lot of properties are having to reduce their price and reduce their price. We're seeing hundred to $200,000 price reductions on a lot of the properties, especially the ones from like one, three onward. We're seeing some massive, massive reductions backwards. So that's just sort of a shift in the market. And then three of the properties relisted, but at the same price, you know, just in hopes of getting new, you know, into people's emails and just at the top of the search to, to get refresh their listings. So definitely a massive change from any kind of busy market. Lots of people adjusting their prices. It is just the norm of what's happening right now. And we are definitely seeing prices go down. I am really curious where the average price ends up um, in October because we just have not seen a lot of sales happening. So this will be interesting. So now the worst story is looking at our active inventory. All of Halton Hills last week was at 216 active listings. This week we are at 230 active listings. So that is a crazy number in comparison to where we've come from. Our peak in 2022 was 193 or 194. So we are way, way past that. And the difference between last year and this year is at this point last year, our inventory was going down. We were seeing a lot of people come off the market, but just not a lot of people in a position where they had to sell, so they were listing their homes. So this year, we are in the opposite trend of where we were going last year, and I think that is going to have a massive impact on overall pricing. Time will tell. Looking at Georgetown this week, last week we were at 137. We are up to 143 active listings. So I always thought that we hit in the 140s last year, but I went through my notebook and I can't find the week where it happened. So I think that 143 active listings is actually the highest inventory I could find in my book since January of 2020. So we are sitting extremely high in Georgetown. Looking at our price points, under 800,000 is up from 14 to 15 active listings. So that price point generally moves quite a bit, but we have a ton of condo and condo townhomes for sale. And again, some detached in that price point, but just a lot of stuff available that isn't moving. Even more notably, 800 to a million is at 31 active listings. The same as last week, but I mean, we didn't see a lot of sales, but 
31 active listings under a million dollars and none of them are selling, that is a very bad sign. That is usually our price point because under a million is the people that don't have the 20% down payments, they can get insured mortgages. That price point is always generally rapidly moving. And for it to be dead right now is scary, I guess. It is not great. One to 1.5 million is up from 61 to 62 active listings. Massive number for that pocket. That is a pocket we are seeing major, major decreases in pricing. It is just nearly impossible to find a million plus buyer right now, it seems. Like only six houses sold in all of Halton Hills last week when we have over 200 available. Like if you are a seller, think about the odds of you actually getting an offer and selling your house. It's so low. So now to 1.5 million plus. I just love the people hanging on to this price point. So there are 32 active listings last week. This week there are 35 active listings. So that price point is going up. I took a dive into that because I'm like, holy cow, that's a lot. Of the 35, 23 of them are legitimately like subdivision houses. At no point is anyone going to be spending this kind of money on a subdivision house in Georgetown South. There's a couple other pockets that have like what I would call subdivision whatever, but like people, you can't, people don't have that kind of money to throw around right now. And if they do, they're, they're not spending it. Like those houses are just not selling. So 1.5 million plus, we have 35 available. Some of them are beautiful estate homes. Like you can get some really nice estate homes, which makes sense in that price point. But so many 23 regular subdivision homes over $1.5 million right now in Georgetown. Like those are gonna soften and they're gonna soften hard. Like, th yeah, that's just gonna have to readjust to like massively. Anyways. Acton this week, up from 23 to 29 active listings. So Acton's been kind of back and forth. This is still a super high number in comparison to where we've come from in Acton, but not the highest we've seen. And I mean, but if things, if we only see one sale a week in Acton, like they're gonna start to really, you know, feel the pinch as well. Glenn Williams remain the same at nine active listings, which is high for the Glenn, but there's a huge range there. The lowest price is 769, so there's, you know, some detached houses to get under a million and it goes up to over $3 million. It's just such a wide range in the Glen, but nine properties sitting there, which is a high number for that area. Limehouse remained the same at three and the rural market just continues to climb. So last week, 44, this week, 46 active listings in the rural market. Prior to this, like last few months, I don't think we ever saw over 30. A lot of times we were sitting between like 10 and 15. And so we're at 46 and there is so many rural properties available. So overall, the market is going, we're not any, it doesn't feel like we're anywhere near a plateau. The market is going in the direction that I thought it was gonna go, but I didn't know it was gonna go this like high and the worst part about what the market feels like right now is it doesn't feel like it's stopping. So, you know, last year it's sort of, we, we, we started hovering between 180 and 190 and it stayed there for a while and it felt like we were peaking. The difference right now, it does not feel like we are peaking. We are seeing some huge price reductions and people like, we're gonna be, we have to be down like at least 10% this month. Um, it's just not a good story and I don't know that it's gonna get any better. So we have an interest rate announcement coming Thursday, I guess, and that will also be interesting. If they raise the rates again, like we're even more screwed. So I'll be back next week. Um, to see if we start to feel any sort of shift. But for right now, it is still just very much in favor of the buyers, but those buyers are certainly not making moves based on the number of sales. So I will be back next week. Have a great week, everyone.